Here you go. Cheers, mate. Are you waiting for someone? Gina, but I'm really, really early. Gina, yes. Um, she's helping you to find an apartment, right? Oh, she told you, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, you mean, right? I recall Joy telling me that you're married? Yes, but it's a bit complicated, uh. you know. The, the truth is, Gina and I have been through a lot together. You know, she's stuck with me through thick and thin and she's incredibly loyal. And you know what it's like when two people really care for each other? You know, it's more like a break than a breakup. Mate, you're married, she's not. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. Enjoy your coffee. Let's come into Warrior 2. Why do you even ask Jamie out? It'll be fine. Yeah, it's all Felicia's fault. And why do you tell her? Breathe. What's the worst that could happen? Let's see. Um, Jamie is Joy's dad, who is Tanya's ex, and Tanya is the stepsister of my ex. <sighs> Look, it's just a meal. Come into Reverse Warrior. Yeah, but with all that history and baggage, I don't think I can handle all that. Look, the two of you get along. He makes you laugh. I think it's a pretty good risk that you're taking. It's card wheel the hands down. Come into a downward facing dog. You know what? I think I'm just gonna call and cancel. No, you are going to see this through like the confident Gina I know. Son, your appetite is so good today. Ah. You are no more upset about the dementia rumor? Upset or not upset, life still goes on. What can I do? Pa, I can't take it lying down. We need to confront Cairo and... And what? You got proof he did anything? So what? You're just going to let him get away with it? You already knew something like this would happen when you broke up with that Sheila. I don't think Sheila is the one behind this. Aya, Kairu or Sheila, they are all the same. People play dirty all the time in business. Better to focus on what's important. Tapa Fitness business. If we win there, we do well there. Nobody can say anything. First day at residency. Yep. Excited? I am. I don't know about him. Huh? Any regrets about your decision? Want to go back to surgery? Uh, none whatsoever. Good. I'm on the way to a surgery. Huh? I'm heading there too. Shall we? Enjoy pediatrics. Sure. Thanks, guys. Whoa! Whoa. Easy now, doctor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for the pediatrics department. Must be a lucky day because I'm headed that way. Oh. Arjun. Zara. Mm -hmm. This way. I'm so nervous. It's my first day of residency. Guess that's going to make us colleagues then. Oh, okay. Joy, over here. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Didn't you know? It's youth day. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. I need to work. Hey, wait. Hold on. Surely you have enough time to chat with your dad. Come on. I'm busy. There are no customers in here except for me. Yeah, but you're not here to see me, are you? I came to see Gina. Yeah, and since we're on that topic, are you two dating? Good morning. 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 Ah, no patients yet? Ah, uh, not yet. You can have your coffee first. <laughs> Thank you, Lina. Sama, yes. how was the university open house? Any causes that caught your eye? Are you? there's so many, I don't know what to choose. <laughs> and not sure if you want to commit or not, right? Yeah, la. Am I ready to be a fully qualified nurse? What if I choose it and I don't like it? Then I have to stay on for so many years. Why don't you take a look at some of the shorter courses? They can give you additional skills that you can put to practice right here. That's a good idea. Yeah. And if it feels right, you can always commit to a full one. Yeah. Never thought of that. Thank you, Dr. Baska. <laughs> Very smart of you to suggest that. Anytime, Salma. Shorter courses rather than full-time ones means you get to spend more time here at the clinic. Very, very, very <laughs> smart, eh, Dr. Baska? So what gives you the idea that I'm dating Gina? You're not answering the question. You sound a lot like your mother right now. Yes or no? 
No. Why was that so difficult to answer? Joy, you know your mother and I are never getting back together, right? I know, but you said that you're moving here for me. And I am. And I know that you're not going to be single forever, but... You're my first priority. Whether I'm here or a million miles away. Do you understand that? I just don't want any surprises. I promise you, if I start dating anyone, you'll be the first to know. Cross my heart. Now can I have that hug? Come on. Dad, I'm at work. There's nobody here. Hey, bro. Hey, man. How's your first day going? Impressed the boss yet? Well, they haven't started yet, but I must say my fellow resident is pretty easy on the eye. I see you found a new target. Yep, and I think she's going to make it pretty easy for me to impress the boss. <laughs> Lucky you. Listen, uh, I got to go. Talk to you later, OK? Hi. So you are Dr. Arjun? The one and only. Yes. Famous for the fundraiser to renovate the children's playroom. Leslie, who do we have here? Good morning, Dr. Raja. We met before. Ah, the guy who came over from general surgery. Yes, sir. Direct look in the eye, self-assured swagger, exuding confidence, perhaps overconfidence. Hi, I'm Dr. Zara. I've heard so much about you, Dr. Raja. Hmm. Meeting in five minutes. Dr. Raja, uh, a word. What is it? I'm really excited to be working with you. I've heard so much about you. You were on the Rutherford Scholarship specializing in pediatric gastroenterology in the UK. What else do you know about me? That you were a senior consultant at GOSH. That's it. And the research work you did were major breakthroughs. Listen, flattery doesn't work with me, Dr. Arjun. No, no, Dr. Raja, don't, don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to say is you really inspire me. Well, I expect uh, really inspired work from you then. Yes, sir. Hey, Jamie. Gina, have you come with the contracts? Actually... They're not ready yet. Then you must have come to talk about the drums. Actually, no. Um, I'm here to ask if you want to go out sometime. Uh. OK, forget I asked. Sorry. No. Gina, I'm flattered. Really, I am. But I came to Singapore because of joy. And right now, it's got to be about joy. I understand. But please, since you came all this way, let me buy you a coffee. No, it's OK. No, no, no. I... Please, I insist. Let me buy you a coffee. You know, my offer still stands to teach you the taiko drums. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm lying. I don't know how to play the drums at all. You don't? No. But you thought it'd be cool if you did. Well, Josh Harrington III, in school rock band, he had all the girls following him around every day. But the reality is I, I have absolutely no rhythm in these hands at all. Me neither. My timing sucks. What's wrong? Oh, yeah, you got signal, not Wi Fi? Yeah, okay. Uh. I think I need a new phone. It's okay. Uh. Everything full bar? Oh, yeah, I'm not getting any text messages uh, from the TLC WhatsApp group chat. Maybe you talk a lot. They don't want to talk to you. Don't be rude. Lah. I think uh, they are talking behind my back. About what? About you and your dementia. <laughs> yeah, it's my dementia. Yeah, but you are my husband, so it's our dementia. I think uh, they already started a new group chat. What are you doing? Calling for a meeting. If they want to gossip about me, huh, they better gossip in front of me. They are not going to gossip about me in front of you. Exactly. 
Ah, not many patients in the morning. Huh? Looks like most of them are healthy today. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it, Lina. Salma, what are you busy with? You see, Dr. Basil, every time I've found the right cause, I find something I don't like. Ma, decide already. Nothing's going to be perfect. You know, Salma, when I was at the start of my career, there were some cases I was excited about. <laughs> and there were some cases I found boring. But eventually, I realised that I need the mundane work in order to appreciate the demanding task. It made me better all around. Sorry for the last-minute notice. Uh, but we all forgot that uh, next month is National Day. We didn't forget. Yeah, we've been working on it since our last meeting. Uh, uh, yala, yala. Uh, but we forgot how close it is. But we really didn't. Uh, okay, la. I, I forgot. Uh, but it was Gong San who has got a very good memory. He's the one who reminded me how close July is to August. Is it? Yeah, uh, just slightly over a month away, you know? <laughs> we know. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Gong San knows, no? Uh, 38 days. Oh, his brain is very sharp. <laughs> Businessman, you know? Arjun, you wanted to be a surgeon, right? Yes. And you know all surgeons don't actually know their patients. They just cut them up, ship them out. Mm -hmm. But in pediatrics, it's different. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You are? Well, when you were building up the funds for the renovation of the playroom, what happened after that? Sorry. I... Did you visit the children? Did you ask them if it met their needs? Did you follow up and ask? I think that's important with all patients, though. True. But with children, it's even harder. Because it may be hard to explain to them what's going on? Yes, but more so than that, you'll often ask yourself where the fairness is in this world when you see children suffer. But I found that children can be very resilient. Yes, and that's what I expect from you. Service, service, service to the children. Do this for vanity, I will cut you down. I wonder how Arjun's first day is going. Maybe I should text him. He'll be very busy, man. Not too busy that he can't even read his mother's text. Maybe it's not too late to go back to surgery. What do you mean by that? Well, I heard you were on track to become a surgeon, right? Why switch over to pediatrics? You got a problem with that? No, I... I don't owe you an explanation. Dr. Baskar, I want to better understand what you do. Uh, the medical cases... Uh, you see, uh, if I'm suited to this medical field, I want to follow you around. But Salma, you're always in there with me whenever there are female patients. Yeah, but... I don't always pay full attention. Sometimes my mind drifts off, you see. Especially the more boring cases. You know, I'm thinking about the drama I saw last night, you know, about makan, about shopping. Okay, okay, okay. Alina, <laughs> can you help take some of Salma's shifts? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Basker. Thank you, Lina. <laughs> you know, okay, this time I promise I'll pay 100% attention, even if it's very, very boring. <laughs> okay, okay. Nurse Kim, what's with this case? Seven-month-old baby having seizures and trouble eating. And it looks like she's been tested for practically everything. Oh, Nina, poor girl. She's been here more than a week now. The doctors can't find anything wrong with her. Mm. Dinner's almost ready. Ah, Shruti won't be joining us. She's meeting her friends. Yeah, I got her messages. But Arjun hasn't even read my messages. <laughs> he must be busy. First day of residency and all, you know. 
I'm going to call him. Mirai, Arjun is fine. Put on the phone. Come on. The customer you're calling is currently unavailable. His phone is switched off. I'm sure Arjun is fine. <sighs> yeah, we would have heard something by now. <sighs> come, come, let's see. Okay. Uh, how's school? Not very good. Can you help me with my Chinese later? Can, but I need to go shopping for our TLC National Day party with Madam Chan. Uh, I come back later, Ken. Oh. What's wrong? It's not just my Chinese. Oh, okay. I'll cancel with them first, ah. Huh? Thanks, Ama. Hmm. Uh, hello, Madam Fatima. Hey, something come up. I cannot go shopping with you. Why? Something wrong with Gong San? No, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with Gong San. Yo, please stop going around gossiping about him. Yes, sickening. <laughs> okay, so we start with Chinese first, okay? Okay. Doctor Arjun, I've been looking for you. Yes. Look, I didn't mean to step on your toes. It's just that I heard you're good at what you do, which is surgery. I really don't mean to pry. I was just curious. Hmm. Dr. Zara. Hmm? I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's fine. If you really want to know why I'm here, it's all because of a little girl. The little girl who inspired you to raise funds for the playroom. Yeah. Never thought about pediatrics until I met her. So, here I am. Budding heads with Dr. Raja. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. Well, good luck. Good luck to you too. May we both survive this residency. See you. So, my father has managed to rent an apartment and he says I can stay there anytime. Wow. Remember, <laughs> that's something we need to discuss. I know. It's nice to have your father close by. Yeah. Makes me feel bad for feeling a bit jealous just now. Jealous? For what? Well, I thought he got a new girlfriend and that he wouldn't have time for me. Uh, did you see him with someone? No, but Uncle Ben said he was seeing Gina. Uncle Ben told you that? Yep. Anywho, not the case. Uh, when's Arjun coming home? Not so soon, I think. You know what? I think we should celebrate his first day of residency. Still early. I could go get a cake. That's a good idea, Tanya. Thank you. Great. I'll be right back. She isn't your patient. <sighs> Don't sneak up on me like that. I wasn't. You, on the other hand, shouldn't be doing what you're doing. I'm a doctor. And I'm just a nurse? That's not what I meant. I know what you mean. This is your first day. You want to have all the answers, solve all the cases, get yourself a pat on the back, and feel that you are the best doctor in this whole world. Dr. Raja will assign you a case later. This baby isn't any of your business. Jamie turned me down. I'm fine, I'm a big girl. I can handle rejection. <laughs> yep, I'll be home soon. Bye. Looks like you could do with something sweet. Um, it's okay, no thanks. It's on the house. Thanks, but I have to go. Gina, I'm here, you know. I'm always here. Yeah, dependable Ben, right? What are you doing here? I texted you I can't make dinner, right? 
That's why I brought dinner to you. Do you know, Tanya went to get you a cake to celebrate your first day of residency. Sorry, Ma, but you don't have to bring me food. There's a canteen here. I'm concerned. And you take so long to reply to my messages. Yeah, I'm busy. Even on coffee break. <sighs> Sorry, Ma. I should have written the messages. Arjun, are you assisting on any surgeries yet? Uh, uh, Ma, thanks for bringing me dinner. You should go home. Come, let me walk you to the car. Arjun, don't work too hard. My boss wouldn't like to hear that. Come, come. You give me a second. Ben. Oh, hi. Um, it's my understanding that you talked to Joy about Jamie and Gina dating. Oh. They're not dating. Yeah, it's just a casual remark. I didn't think that she would... Casual? Nothing you've done lately has been casual. I've got to clear up. Whatever plans you're making in your head to get to Gina, leave Joy out of it. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I would never make use of Joy. And why don't I believe you? And why does it always seem that you want what you can't have? First Grace, now Gina. And you don't seem to care who you hurt to get what you want. You don't know me. So stay out of my business. Joy is my business. You mess with her, you mess with me. station now. Are you gonna be okay, Grace? Yeah, of course. Don't be so worried, okay? You know, I can't help but feel like the police are gonna drop the case. Your grandfather sexually abused you. They have to take it seriously. I mean, it happened so long ago and, and it's his word against mine. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Just calm down, okay? You know what? I, I can go to the police station with you. I'll let Mom look after Grace. It's okay, Ben. I'll be fine after I take my medication. 